recently that you had actually brought up with the team, kind of the big picture and kind of what's at stake to light a fire under them. So you've kind of spoken those words. Yeah. Sab's talking about one one game at a time, kind of attitude, one game tournament, whatever she said. So how are you balancing all that stuff at this point? Oh, I think our kids, number one, are smart. So they realize what uh, what we're playing for, what's ahead of us, what uh, we're capable of, and probably where we stand. But uh, that's a great philosophy. It is. It's one game at a time. I, I think if you look, uh, I guess, too far down the road, then you're going to get tripped up at some point. So, um, yeah, great point. Sab usually makes really good points. What was it like to win that Pac-12 Coach of the Year award in the first one in conference? Well, I mean, it's always nice. I think it's great because it's voted on by your peers. Um, uh, in that you know, in that special, and let's face it, we have some great coaches in this conference. But uh, more than anything, it's it's awesome for the staff. They're the ones that that you know. I think it's a staff award. They've they've earned this. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's not that big a deal. Uh, to me, the championship, you know, and the success of our players that that's what's real special, and that's what it's all about. And let's face it, I I don't get any awards myself if the team isn't really good and <laughs> the team's very good speaking of player success too i mean what what does it say about this team the amount of all conference selections they had and sabrina going back to back as player of the year what does that just say about the group that you have here that we have really good players it's been a dominant group this year i know we slipped up a couple of times uh and you know we we had some adversity there and and weren't at full strength but when this team is at full strength that were really good, and I'm glad that they were recognized, especially Maite. I, I think Satu and Sabrina and Ruthie are, are no-brainers to some degree, um, but Maite is the glue, and it's great that the coaches in this conference uh, recognized her for that because they all know you know, how this team is run and, and uh, that she's super important. And let's face it, Aaron Bowley could have just as easily been on that team as well, but it would be hard to vote for five. But it was nice that she was recognized in some some fashion as well as Taylor Chavez. So we actually had six players receive mention, and that uh, doesn't happen very often. Being a full strength, did, has depth just felt tenuous all year, or did not having Taylor make it, you know, exacerbate that anymore? Or do you feel like you've kind of been on a on a thin line anyway? Well, yeah, to some degree we've been on a thin line all year, but I think we've managed their uh, their bodies, their practice time uh, quite well. They've been very honest with us as to uh, you know where they're at, and I trust them. Um, and quite frankly, you know, Morgan Yeager has stepped in and done a really good job. I thought she had a great weekend in the desert, and we have a lot of confidence in her. And when uh, Ruthie went out, we have confidence in Lydia. So this is a true team. There's there's no question about it. And, and I uh, preach it almost every day. At any moment, you know, you never know when you're going to be called upon, and, and, you know, we need you to be ready to deliver. And uh, that's happened so far. Yeah, pretty proud of Lydia, the way she – because she played a pretty key role last week and, yeah, I thought and the way she was she big in the Arizona State game came down with some big rebounds timely rebounds good defense uh, she had a good weekend in the desert and uh, you know we she's a good player she's just playing alongside or behind Ruthie Hebert one of the best centers in the country so there's only so many minutes that you you know you can get her but uh, she's certainly capable and we've played them together a little bit it's um, you know hurts us in some ways but defensively, they're a force when they're playing together. So maybe that's something we, we look at even a little bit more between now and the end of the season. Tournaments in Vegas this year brings along a set of you know different distractions for players and, and coaches both. I mean, how, do, how have you and your staff kind of thought about tackling what that's going to be like when, you know, a, a full week in, in Las Vegas? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a huge distraction for the players. The lounge uh, is a little smokier when you walk through the hotel. That's about it. it I, I don't anticipate that they're going to be on the craps table or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's a business trip, and it just happens to be in Las Vegas. I mean, I coached for 14 years at Gonzaga. Half of those years, we had our tournament in Vegas, and a lot of other conferences do, and it doesn't seem to be too big of a problem. Um, you know, we, we this is a business-like group, so they, they know what they're down there for. You obviously are going to play a team that you just recently played, whether it's USC or Arizona. When you're watching that game, uh, what are you looking for when you're watching them play each other? Oh, I think, you know, anything new that they may have put in, uh, I think at this point everybody is who they are. I mean, we're not going to be running anything different, uh, so to speak. We might tweak some of the stuff, but not really anything. They're fresh in our memories, too, of you know, whoever we play, we will have played them in the last three games. So I, I don't anticipate they will have changed much. But, uh, you know, I think it's a good chance for our players to kind of sit and watch because they don't get a chance to do that very often. And we'll definitely be as a team there watching that, that first game. Is Ruthie pretty close to returning to her form before her injury? 
Uh, no, no, I don't think Ruthie will be back to where she was before the injury for the rest of the season. Quite honestly, that's just something that's going to need some rest. And unfortunately, she doesn't get that luxury <laughs> right now. Uh, we have a lot of games to play. So, um, but she's really tough. I mean, the fact that she was given it a go at Oregon State to go back in is is amazing, and that she came back this quickly. But she's a strong athlete and strong-minded person. So, uh, she she'll she'll get through it. She'll never make an excuse. That's for sure. Is it just nice to have her after the game? You were pretty concerned. <laughs> it doesn't look good was your quote, I think. Well, that's what everybody was telling me. Yeah. So I just go by what I, I'm heard. I'm no doctor, obviously. Um, but she is, uh, you know, she's a, an amazing young person, very resilient and very tough. So, yeah, I think just having her on the court, you know, that when she played against USC, it just you could tell the whole team was lifted. She's important. You know, we, we have really, really good players on this team. She's the most dominant, and I don't think anybody will will argue that. She gives us a whole different dynamic that no one else in the conference can really match. And so we become a much different, much better team when she's out there, and certainly when she's out there 100%. And do you expect Taylor to miss this tournament? Uh, I do, yeah. Ta Taylor is going to be out for a little bit. So we, we hope to uh, continue to advance in the NCAA at some point, and uh, the longer we, we play, the better chance she has to come back. Because of the depth and, and because of Ruthie's status, you potentially have, could play three games in three days. Yep. You know, do you manage things a little differently over these next few days? Um, yeah, I think any chance we have to, you know, to sub and, and limit minutes, we will. And we have. Last, last weekend is a great example. I mean, Sabrina played 31 minutes in our second or maybe the first game down there. And I don't know if she's played 31 minutes <laughs> at any point in the league. So again, it just kind of depends on the players coming off the bench and how well they're playing. And they played well this last weekend. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll try to manage it best we can. But at this point, everybody's tired on every team. So you just kind of got a way to get through it and be mentally tough. And I don't think there's a more mentally tough team than ours. You keep an eye on that Portland Regional at all, the, the potential to kind of be there and how, how these games might impact that? Sure, absolutely. I mean, yeah, you'd be uh, blind if you didn't. Um, I think it's important, and I think we put ourselves in a position to make it happen. But if whether it does or doesn't, it won't affect you know our attitudes. It won't affect how well we're going to play. But, oh, sure, as a coach, I think about it, yeah.